welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this Mad Hatter inspired makeup look from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Also completely random, but if you guys want to see, this is probably my party trick and it kind of has to do with this costume, which is why I'm showing you. So not only can I flare my nostrils really quickly, but I can also roll my eyes back like this. This is part of my Alice in Wonderland series for Halloween, so I will make sure to have the rest of my Alice in Wonderland inspired makeup looks linked down below for you guys to check out. If you're not already, definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be uploading a new Halloween themed makeup tutorial every weekday for the entire month of October, so you guys definitely don't want to miss it. And I'll also make sure to have my Halloween playlist linked down below to help give you guys a full catalog of all of the Halloween transformations I've done to help give you a little bit more Halloween inspiration if needed. So anyways, with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can transform yourself into Tim Burton's Mad Hatter, then just keep watching. Hey Spoop, so to get started, I'm going to be popping in some green contact lenses and then going ahead and focusing on covering my eyebrows. I'm going to be taking an Elmer's washable glue stick on my finger and going ahead and spreading that over my eyebrow hairs to help flatten them to my face before going into my Laura Mercier translucent powder and going ahead and pressing that on to the glued down areas with a wedge sponge. And I'm actually going to layer this up two more times. So I have a total of three layers on my brow to help fully cover them up. I'm then going to be taking my Boca Bunny Beauty Color Correcting Concealer in Apricot and going ahead and spreading that over my brow hair area and then once again making sure to set that with some powder. This is going to help kind of cover up some of that darker color so I can go over it with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in White and this is really going to help make the white stand out more and not allow as much darkness to come through and then once again I just want to go ahead and set that with some powder. Moving on to painting my face, I'm going to be using a mixture of my Made You Look Body Paint in Yeti and my NYX Total Control Foundation in Porcelain. So for this, I definitely recommend using a foundation brush. I personally find that it gives the most opacity and less streakiness when applying body paint, but especially white body paint. So I'm going to be doing one layer of just the white body paint all over my face and neck, making sure to fully cover up my eyebrows. And then I'm going to be moving on to doing a second layer and mixing in a little bit of that foundation with the second layer. I find that it helps give it a little bit of a smoother finish. It makes the body paint not look quite so cakey and it just kind of helps make the body paint look a little bit more realistic as well. Next, I'm going to be setting my face, and so I'm actually going to be using a white eyeshadow from my Carnival XL palette, and I'm going to be doing this because I find that a translucent powder still tends to sometimes have a few yellow undertones, and I definitely want this to be completely white. Next, we're going to be moving on to creating my fake eyebrows. So for this, I'm actually going to be using a little bit of hair from the wig and also some auburn crepe wool. And I'm actually just going to be mixing that together with my fingers and then applying a little layer of liquid latex onto my brow area. And then once I kind of have the desired, very loose shape of the eyebrow, I'm just going to be going ahead and just gluing that down to my face and using a little bit more liquid latex to glue down the edges on the inner part of my brow. These are supposed to look crazy. I definitely found that this was a quick and easy way to give myself those crazy Mad Hatter eyebrows. But if you are more invested, feel free to potentially order or make your own set of a little bit more properly designed eyebrows. The Mad Hatter has a pink contour, so I'm going to be starting off by taking Makeup, which is a mauve color from my Carnival XL palette. I'm going to be using this as the base. I'm going to be applying it under my cheekbones and bringing that downwards to the shape of my face, and then also applying that to my jawline, making sure to sharpen that up, and then also start on contouring my nose as well. I'm then going to be taking Persuasion and I'm going to be applying that to my cheekbones with a fluffier brush and then making sure to bring that down to my jawline. This is going to bring a few more of those brighter pink tones to this look while still making it look a little bit more natural with the darker tones. Moving on to his eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and applying this to my eyelids before going into my Carnival XL Pro Palette taking Wasted. And on my right eye, I'm going to be just pressing this in all over my upper lid and then using a clean brush to blend out both the inner and the outer edges. I'm then going to be going into Make Waves and doing the exact same thing on my left eye. I'm going to be pressing this in all over the lid and then blending out those edges. 
Next, I'm going to be taking Funky, and on a fluffy brush, I'm going to be bringing this down to my lower lash line of my right eye, and just definitely making sure to blend it as we get closer to the white. I personally like to take a clean brush, and then maybe add a little bit of white eyeshadow to help blend out those edges a little bit more. And then I'm actually just going to be blending that purple down onto that lower area as well, just to make the eyeshadow colors blend a little bit more. Next, I'm going to be going into Lit and doing the same thing on my left eye. I'm going to be using a fluffy brush to apply this under my eye, use a clean brush, and potentially with a little bit of white eyeshadow to blend out those edges, and then take a little bit of that blue and blend that in to that orange a little bit more. Next, I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and just going ahead and tight lining my lower waterline. And then I'm going to be going back into my Made You Look Body Paint in Yeti. And I'm actually going to be using this as a white eyeliner. I'm going to be applying it just on a normal line to my upper lash line. And then using that, I'm going to be creating his little fake lashes on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to be creating little lines right under where we put that milk eyeliner. From the reference photos, I didn't see him having much with his upper lashes, so I'm just going to be using my Tarte Man Eater Mascara in black to just slightly sweep this through just to kind of help get rid of any of that excess white body paint. Next, I'm going to be moving on to lips where I'm going to be starting off by taking my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Mamacita and going ahead and outlining my lips. And then to get the perfect Mad Hatter color, I found that applying one layer of my ColourPop Disney Designer Prince Philip Luxe Liquid Lips all over my lips and then following that up with my Sephora Fig Luster Liquid Lip gave the perfect bright pink but still maintained those muted colors. And I just absolutely love how this lip combo turned out. I'm then going to be setting my face with my One Size Beauty Until Dawn Setting Mist and then focusing on creating that tooth gap. I'm going to be taking my Fleet Street Tooth Lacquer Palette in black. This is an alcohol activated palette, so you do need 99% alcohol in order to use these paints. So I'm just going to be starting off by drying my teeth with a paper towel, spraying that palette with some 99% alcohol, and then I'm going to be dipping into that black. And then with my teeth dry, I'm going to be going ahead and creating that tooth gap and then making sure to wait for that to completely dry before going ahead and closing my mouth. And that is my completed Mad Hatter makeup look from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Also, if you haven't already, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month and receive all exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks of upcoming makeup looks before anybody else. And it really does help support me and my channel. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.